After the 10 minutes are up, we centrifuge the tubes again at 2,500 G for four minutes. After centrifuging, we remove the supernatant to another clean tube. Next, we add four milliliters of solution C3 and then invert twice to mix. Next, there is another 10 minute incubation in the ice. Solution C3 is a chemical purification agent precipitating out other organic and inorganic materials from the DNA still in solution. After the incubation, we will centrifuge again at 2,500 G for another four minutes and then remove the supernatant to a new tube. Next, we will add 30 milliliters of solution C4 to the supernatant and invert to mix. This solution is a high salt solution which facilitates the binding of the DNA to the silica spin filters. Once bound to the filter, the DNA can then be washed of impurities. This mixture should be added to the spin filter tubes, which are then centrifuged at 2500 G for only two minutes. This centrifugation step is able to pull down the liquid through the filter and all the DNA present is bound to the filter on the way through. However, as you can see, we have more liquid than is able to be poured onto the filter at one time. So this step involves usually about three centrifugation steps in between which the liquid that has passed through the filter can be poured into the waste. When pouring out this liquid, you must be mindful of where the filter is and what it is touching. The DNA we want from the soil is bound to this filter. So placing it on the counter or somewhere that may contaminate or denature the DNA is something that should be carefully avoided. Once all the supernatant has been passed through the filter apparatus, we must wash the impurities from the DNA on the filter. First, we must be sure to clean the DNA while it's still bound to the filter, which is done with 10 milliliters of solution C5 being poured onto the filter, which is then centrifuged at 2500 G for three minutes. This ethanol-based solution removes any unwanted salts or acids which may have attached themselves to the filter membrane in addition to the DNA. The liquid from this wash can be discarded just as the previous waste. Finally, we must be sure to remove any unwanted solutions and dry the filter. So one final centrifugation of the filter in the tube is performed at 2500 G for five minutes with no additional solutions added. Any of solution C5 that is still present can interfere with further applications of the DNA, making it unusable. After this centrifugation, we are ready to remove the DNA from the filter. First, we remove the filter itself and put it in its final sterile tube. Next, five milliliters of solution C6 is poured onto the center of the filter membrane. This solution is called the sterile elution buffer and is able to remove the bond that is holding the DNA to the membrane. The bond was formed under extreme salt conditions, and the buffer is able to remove these conditions, releasing the DNA. With solution C6 on the filter, centrifuge the tube for three minutes at 2500 G, and then remove the filter. The solution left in the tube is your final DNA product and should be stored at negative 20 degrees Celsius. If this DNA is being transported to another facility for further procedures, it is recommended that the package also contain some dry ice to keep the DNA frozen during the trip. With that, the DNA should be ready to use. More information can be found in the mobile kit manual or online on the mobile website.